Hi, my name is Rashid. I'm the executive pastry chef at Fata Island Resort and I'm going to show you today a Christmas pudding spring roll with a mulled wine jelly and nutmeg creme fraiche. It's something very quirky, very easy to do at home and it doesn't take any time, which is fantastic, which we don't have so much time in our days. All right? What I'm going to do now is we're going to start by the mulled wine jelly because we want to make sure our jelly is actually set in the right time. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some leftover of the wine from yesterday or last week, it doesn't really matter because the quality won't affect it as we're going to cook it. Okay, so I just put half a bottle of wine inside the pan. I've got all these beautiful spices around me, so I'm going to add two little star anise, two cloves, a cinnamon stick. Remember the cinnamon stick to actually break them in half so you get more flavor out of this. Okay, we're going to add a little bit of ground ginger few slices of lemon, few slices of grapefruits, few slices of oranges. When we add some fruit inside is when we cook our mulled wine, we actually, the wine's gonna get bitter. So we just want to get some fruity flavor into it. And I'm gonna add around 200 gram of castor sugar, okay? Then I'm gonna put this on a stove. I'm gonna let it cook, basically. I would not leave it too long or what happens is your wine is going to reduce which means you're going to vaporize all the liquid, concentrate the flavor and it's going to be too strong and after a beautiful meal after Christmas we don't want too much strong flavors. Okay, while our mulled wine is getting ready there warm up we're going to start on our spring roll. So what I've done here is actually covered the spring roll pastry with a damp cloth so that damp cloth basically keeps the pastry moist. If you don't put anything on the top, your pastry will dry, it will be crispy, and you won't be able to roll it anymore, okay? I've got here some just normal egg wash, it's just pure egg yolk. I'm going to put a little bit of this egg yolk on the edges. You don't have to put too much of it, as I say many times, people make the mistake. The more egg yolk you put, the moisture is going to get, actually, the less it's going to stick. The egg wash is there just to stick your pastry together, okay? I've got some old Christmas pudding from last year, doesn't really matter. Something we always have at home, okay? I'm gonna take a little bit of it, crush it down. And I'm gonna add a little bit of whiskey into it just to get it moist, okay? While I'm gonna work this up, I'm gonna get a pan. I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil, but don't worry too much if you don't have any olive oil because it's just to toast your nuts, okay? You can use vegetable oil, it will make the same thing. It won't make any difference, okay? I'm going to use these pine nuts. I'm going to add those pine nuts inside the pan and put them back on a hub. All we're looking for is to give some color to your pine nuts. It will make it much flavorful, much more flavor to it. Okay, so I'm going back into my pudding now. I'm going to mix this whiskey with that pudding. It's always very good, like pastry chef, we always advise people or baker, it's about everything cooking, it's about feeding, so don't be scared of put your hands, it may get your hands dirty, okay? Give it a little minute there. What I'm gonna do, those peanut, pine nuts, they're not gonna take long to toast, okay? So just keep an eye on them. All you wanna do is give them a little bit of color, nothing else. I'll get me a hand wash there. And as you can see, I always have a cloth on the top, on the side of my trouser. It's very important. If I'll be in a kitchen, I will always have a couple of cloths, one on the side, one in the back. It's just very easy to, rem to forget and you want to grab something from the oven and you're like, where's my cloth? Or you want to clean the top like this. So always keep a cloth on the side. It's always better. Now I've got my pine nuts. Lovely, nice little color to it. Okay, I'm gonna add some pine nuts to my mix. So just to give a little crunchy to it, nothing else. Because in a Christmas pudding, obviously, everything is moist, everything is mushy. All right, give it a little mix together. That's perfect like this. And I'm gonna put this in the center of my pastry. I'm gonna put this away like that. Just make a little roll, okay, as I say, the quantity doesn't really matter. Do you want to make a big one? Make a big one. Do you want to make a small one? Make a couple of small ones. What I like to do is make an average size enough for one person, basically, because we're going to slice it in half. And after a Christmas meal, I think we're all kind of stuffed, okay? Give a little roll, tuck in the side, okay? P push it down like this. Same thing, tuck it on the side. It's just to keep your mixture inside your pastry, okay? Nothing else. Give a little egg wash on it. 
And again, not too much, it's not needed. Don't worry if your roll doesn't look very exciting because at the end of the day, we're gonna slice it. It doesn't really matter, okay? We're gonna put a little egg wash around it. And then we're gonna give it a little dust of caster sugar. The caster sugar basically just want to put a little bit of caster sugar just to give a little crunchiness, extra crunchiness to that pastry. Because I'm not going to deep fry it, we're going to put it in a normal oven as people very ready nowadays with health and diabetic and things like this. Just gonna wash my hands. Perfect. I'm gonna put the spring roll pastry into a tray. It doesn't really matter if you have any pepper or whatever, it won't stick. I've got a preheated oven, 180 degrees. I'm gonna put this in the oven there. This will take approximately five to six minutes. It won't take any, long, any longer. You just want to give a little color to it, okay? If you leave it too long, your Christmas pudding will just dry off and it won't be as appetizing. That's perfect now, so if you have a look, my mulled wine is just nice and warm, slightly steamy. I'm gonna add some gelatin to it. So I'm gonna use the professional gelatin, which is a normal sheet of gelatin. It's very, it's very hard, it's around five grams. So I'm gonna put five sheets into cold water for a couple of seconds, doesn't really take too long. If you don't find this gelatin in a shop, which would be very hard, don't try, you can use gelatin powder. And gelatin powder does the same thing. This one is five grams, so looking at 25 grams of gelatin powder. Okay, so this is nice and soft. And I'm gonna put it inside my mud wine. Put it back a little bit on the stove like this, just until my gelatin is melted, nothing else. Okay? After that, I'm just gonna prep my creme fraiche, normal creme fraiche, you can find it in any store, anywhere. I'm just gonna open it. I'm gonna take fresh nutmeg. I found fresh nutmeg much better than powder because when it's powdered, it kinda lose all this flavor. So what I do is I just create it, create it over it. Do not work your creme fraiche. If you work it, your creme fraiche is gonna be very sloppy, you won't be able to do anything with it, and it won't look good, okay? So I've got my creme fraiche ready there. I'm gonna get my little pan here. What I've done is I already have a Christmas pudding pre-made. There we go. I'll put this one back in the oven. So that took really six, seven minutes, no longer than that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim the edges. I'm gonna slice it through it, like that everybody can see through it, okay? I'm gonna trim again the edge. What you wanna do is you wanna be able to stand them. So if they stand, there is more height, people are always very impressed about height, and it's quite nice as well because you can see actually inside the spring roll. Now I'm gonna have a look on my mud wine. I'm gonna give it a little whisk. That's perfect. I'm gonna take a martini glass, but again, you don't have to use martini glass. If you want to use a shot glasses, whatever you have at home, it's perfect. I like martini glass because the glass itself looks really good. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put this into a fridge. I'm gonna leave it there and leave it for five to six hours, just enough time to set. So I've got one here already pre-made for you to have a look. So I'm gonna serve this on a side like this. I'm gonna take my creme fraiche with my lovely nutmeg on it. I'm taking a teaspoon, hot water, just go through it. Pour it on one side, same thing, clean your spoon. Pour it on the other side. Then I'm gonna add a little mint tip, just to give a little bit of color. It really is a, the mint doesn't really have anything really to do with it, just a bit of color because with all those strong nutmeg, cinnamon, star anise, you really won't feel really that mint. And then what I've done here is I just warmed up a little bit of that whiskey that I use for my Christmas pudding, put it over a jug. Then I'm gonna take a lighter, give it a little light to it. That's perfect. And what you do is you just flambe it, you just pour over it just like that, that's perfect. 
Remember what you can do is before to serve it, dim the light and then flambe inside your jugs and just pour over it and it will have this fantastic effect to it. Thanks very much, hope you enjoyed.